I'm going to review an AM FM pocket transistor radio. What's a review like that doing on this channel? Well, keep watching and you'll find out, as there are some quite interesting things about this receiver. Having a look inside the packet, the first thing that comes out is a pair of earphones, bubble wrap, instructions, and the radio itself. Looks just like a pocket transistor radio. A bit smaller and a bit lighter. Tuning on one side, AM, FM and off switch on the other. In the top is the volume control, headphones and a pull out telescopic antenna, which doesn't go all that tall, only about 15 centimeters. This radio is also a bit smaller than average, probably about the size of two matchboxes. Most manufacturers stopped publishing circuit diagrams for consumer equipment decades ago. But this radio has a circuit, available on the JCAR website. That circuit is quite different to what we're used to with transistor radios because in this case there's no IF transformers. Everything is done within the IC. And it's not even a superhet design. It's actually a phasing type receiver. The IF is quite low at around 70 or 80 kilohertz. In that arrangement it's probably not too dissimilar from the Sony SRF59 which was known to have particularly good performance on the AM broadcast band. I should mention the radio is smaller than average. The speaker would only be about an inch in diameter, so I'm not going to expect much volume from it. As for the battery compartment, it's somewhat lightweight, like the rest of the case, but it doesn't come off, which means you're not going to lose it. And also encouraging for later on, there are screws, so we'll be able to open this radio up. Beijing, but rather the Morrison government. There's a light on it that tells you when you're tuned into a station. And there's a hash. Even though we're on the AM broadcast band, it sounds like you're on FM. But when you tune into a station, it quietens down. Well, this is actually a country station, and it is definitely better than average. Noticing there's a bit of backlash on the tuning dial. This is exactly what terrorists want. Lady Campen, and she might know a lot better. She's been there and she's seen what they can offer, but somehow... I and it needs a serious investment. The communities are working on this themselves right across Victoria in the absence of government um, programs. Well, I love them. I, really I like do. the question, what's your motivation? When Australians say something, the whole world um, stops and listens and follows, which is absolutely not the truth. So you're thinking and that uh, that claim that we sort of effectively bit the hand that feeds us has a bit of merit that we... That may make it look equally a little bit easy. So they're, they're sort of set November 13, a week's time is the... Um, just turning the, the radio. Because they want to put That's the null. By the end of November. Obviously players need to and the noise goes up the, uh, when the signal is weak. So a bit different to an AM radio we're used to. All the government. 
Joe Biden has offered a glimpse of his inauguration speech. No blue states and red states, just American states. What about FM? What are you? 89.9, the light is Lucy and Kel for breakfast. What? You said they're mink. We wait to fight about taking all this hay we... My name is Peygamber Lick. Kendi edildiğinden sonra yaklaşık 11 buçuk sene geçmişti. Something I should mention is that although the radio comes with these stereo headphones, its output is mono, even on FM. You can tell that, even without listening, from the circuit diagram. Something I tested was the received current consumption. That's around 40 to 50 milliamp. That's a little on the high side, though not outrageous. As I mentioned before, you can download the circuit diagram for the receiver from the JCAR website. The circuit diagram shows the heart of the receiver is a BK1198 receiver IC. The other main stages on the receiver are a one transistor RF preamp for FM and a eight pin IC for the audio amplifier. On the bottom right of the diagram is the resistor voltage divider. That's significant because it looks after the band selection. Then there's the data sheets. JCAR sell the BK1198 as a separate item its surface mount and costs around $8. You can also buy a carrier board which converts the 1.25mm pin spacing to 2.5mm. Therefore if you wanted to you could build a receiver from scratch on an ordinary piece of matrix board. The BK1198 data sheet from JCAR has obviously been written by someone with a lot of interest or expertise in radio history. It's a really good read, even if you don't intend to build a radio using it. There's also an unofficial translation that has a bit more detail in some areas, but there's still information about programming the IC, changing its bands, other things that aren't apparent from it. Still, with the JCAR data sheet only, you can still get the receiver to cover most frequencies from 2.7 to 22 megahertz on shortwave and the AM and FM broadcast bands. This could make it a potentially interesting radio project if you didn't want to try your hand at converting the AR1758 yourself. The back comes off very easily. Just be a little bit careful because there are two thin wires to the battery compartment. Interestingly, the ferrite rod or ferrite bar is at the bottom of the receiver. And this is it inside. If you are careful, you should be able to make modifications, possibly to get the receiver onto another band.
one thing about this receiver is the tuning is a variable resistor, not a variable capacitor. I was going to say that Veractor diodes are what do the tuning, but that's not actually so. This IC is very sophisticated with an inbuilt frequency synthesizer. This is the main receiver IC, and the smaller one here is the audio amplifier. There would be plenty of room to add a few other parts if you wanted to modify it. The circuit board looks to be of reasonable quality, and the parts are labelled. I haven't checked to see if they correlate with the circuit diagram. But if they do, then that will make it easier to modify. As to the dial, you might just be able to see it near my thumb is a red strip. That is connected to the knob or the rotor and that is what moves the strip of plastic along. It's another country station at good strength. So to conclude, it's an interesting little radio and I'm not sure if they are widely available outside Australia, but you might wish to look it up. There might be similar versions available where you live. Here in Australia, it's the model AR1458, available from JCAR. Um, what I was thinking about was this 